Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain the render settings, the output setting. We have two tabs. This is output setting. Here we can choose the output format, JPEG, PNG with that background. As you can see, I said before in the background, with or without background, or you can create HDRI. Here you can specify the image, image size, any image that you want, or you can click custom image size to type any number that you want. Apply denoise, it reduces the noise of the uh, rendering by rendering, as I said, uh, as you can see in render. Here you can tick to show area uh, with this number, with this pixel here. This is an area render. It's important if you want to render, you have to uh, bring your all objects in this area to render better. Here you can specify sample per uh, pixel it's very important you can look at this image here as you can see the sample uh, are making quality of image better as you can see here is a little number of sample and we have a lots of number of sample of course if you reduce the or if you increase the number of the sample uh, we have to heavy scene to render and we need more time to render be careful about that number uh, here the base name you can uh, choose any name here if you render uh, for example that folder in the output folder automatically name simlab underline and blah blah here after doing its job it's open the, that that the folder this folder you can specify your folder with click on this and uh, in any render in any kind of render it or render exit um output your re your render in this folder and it play notification sound when finishing here you can add your watermark on your on your uh, images automatically you can choose your logo you choose your location in four corner of your <coughs> image and here you can uh, choose the size of the, your water here we have a render setting. First, I explain these settings automatically locking time in second. Here, if you, uh, I think if you if F4, as you can see, if you render, it's a lock here. You can, oh, we are in element rendering, sorry. Stop going to the fast pass tracer. That's it. Here, if you uh, want to render our scene, as you can see, now we need the sun. Yes. Here is the lock. If, uh, as I said before, it's take, for example, 100 seconds to lock your uh, moving scene and you cannot move and it's locked here and it's going to render and render to better quality or if you want you can manually lock it or unlock it here it's automatic like time you can uh, uh, choose any number here and if you are rendering it's I ignore one CPU for you to or doing your other jobs in your PC you can if you have more CPU core you can choose any increase or, or increase or decrease the number of your CPU if you want. Navigation and speed while rendering you can choose fast, normal, slow. It means if you uh, if you hit, hit F4 to render and as you can see if you click and drag to navigate as you can see the quality render is very low to better navigating. If you make it um, for example a slow we have better quality of uh, rendering when we uh, rotating. You can choose any uh, option that you want. Show real time render statistics. It means this number here that are a render image that tell you image size, SPP, and other things that I explain it in uh, kind of the rendered here. This is a statistics. If you want, you can uh, show or unshow it. 
and stop the render we have uh, four kind of the uh, render engine or render modes the first is fast pass to register in default it's very uh, fast in the settings we have a render max depth as i said before in uh, if you set it in a one we have issues uh, we have fast render but we have an issues in <coughs> reflection to objects to each other so as i said before i make it two to better reflect uh, this is actually if i open the, this image here for example i will explain that this is a specular depth but as you can see in these glasses they are reflecting to each other and they are black because of the max depth you have to increase it to um, make them better quality and here you can see them if you set it in a one and it's a four as you can see we have a black and bad reflection to each other but if you make it two and hit F4 again and as you can see we can see the reflection of other environment to our reflective and the reflection to each other so the render max depth is very important if you want to better quality in the glasses you have to make it three or any number that you want uh, MIS pass is another renderer with pass method this is those are mathematical things behind that but it's a better quality and fast if you want if you want to render interior you have to set it interior because it's at two other settings important setting light depth it is uh, global illumination that i explain it that you can set any number and a specular depth what is light depth that is global illumination for example uh, in this interior scene in this room uh, the light comes through the window and hit the floor and uh, we have uh, lots of photon in a real life mm, when the sun go and hit uh, any floor the photon travel all through the wall and make the all uh, room brighter this is real life as you can see the photon reflect and goes uh, in a lots of for example it's as you can see we have a dark area here because of the global illumination uh, we can we have a lighter area in that part and of course as you can see and we have a, a little red uh, light here because the when the photon hit the uh, color for example in this sofa it's picked the color code and you can see the red color here this is a global illumination and you can um, specify how many time that uh, for that those photons uh, will be reflect and travel through the space here the specular steps with this image you can see it's better here we have a glasses that uh, can reflect uh, we have a refraction and reflection to each other and here in the specular depth in a zero and we increase the number and as you can see we have better reflection refraction glasses if you have if you want to more quality you can use it and of course in a fast pass tracer renderer max depths if you render the caustics you need to increase that number what is the caustic see this image Okay. this effect is a caustics uh, when light when refraction through the uh, water it's act like this or in a underwater in a pool you have see caustics so for interior do that element renderer in element renderer we have render max again and what another option will be add that the type render you can render up the object id or you can render a normal we use these these two options object id it render all the separate objects in a separate color that these are layers and you can after that ex export them in after effects on the photoshop and after that you can going to change the light of layers 
uh, actually you can um, change the color change the saturation anything after rendering okay you can change the color after you can change the light it is an object or if you want to create a normal you can set it to the normal i will be explain more in future and if you take the render in a clay uh, this is for a study the light it's very important if you want to study your light of your scene you can uh, specify the light for example if you hit f4 as you can see all of the texture will be uh, disappear disappear and you can just see the uh, light source and other things okay okay this is uh, render sitting and output sitting in Synamp Composer. We do not have any complex settings. The software is very simple and straightforward. And that's it. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.